Hey guys, would you like an opportunity teaching or instructing in the federal government? There are currently a lot of opportunities. Let's talk about it. There is an entire job series dedicated towards teaching, and it is the 1700 series, which is titled Education. In fact, I checked usajobs.gov this morning, and there were over 800 teaching positions available right now. This includes education research, training instruction, instructional systems, among other type of positions. The education job series is a good fit for people who have experience in teaching others. And it doesn't matter if it was adolescents or adults. You could have taught at an elementary school, a university, or in the military. In fact, many military leaders have taught service members regardless of the task and probably have the experience necessary to qualify for the majority of these type of jobs. The subject is not necessarily important but it is the process of establishing a curriculum, developing lesson plans, creating PowerPoint slide decks, doing check on learning, or creating a training product. And it doesn't just have to be standing up in front of a group of people and lecturing. It could be actually creating the lesson plans, or if you have experience with learning systems, computer learning systems. For instance, there's one called Blackboard that's very popular. If you have experience developing lessons in Blackboard, that can make you competitive. So let's go ahead and take a look at a few of the teaching positions that are available today. First, we have a substitute teacher in Cuba. Yeah, this kind of shocked me at first, so I definitely had to include it in the video. This job is actually for the Department of Defense in Guantanamo Bay. Looking at the qualification section in this job announcement, there's only one. There is only one qualification and that is you must hold either a high school diploma or a GED and that's it. I'm going to take a chance and assume that about 99% of you watching this right now are qualified. So what's the pay for moving to Cuba to teach? As you can imagine, it's not that much. It looks like it's between about $60 and $120 a day. All right, next we have a training instructor position located in California, Georgia, and Hawaii. This job is for the Department of Navy. Looking at the qualification level for a GS-11, you need one year experience providing classroom instruction and developing course content. This type of experience can be gained in so many different ways. Like for instance, I taught at ROTC. So I was at a university and I was teaching land navigation react to ambush, how to plan a raid. And the fact that I put together lesson plans to teach that would make me qualified for this type of position. Now, it looks like we're exiting out of the pandemic and during this time, a lot of schools were asking their communities for substitute teachers. So if you volunteered for a substitute teacher position in your city or your town, you could have built up experience doing just this type of task. Okay, so let's say, you have zero experience, but you have a master degree. Well, for this type of position, you can qualify with no experience, provided you have a master degree for the GS9 level. Okay, so what's the pay? This job has a salary range of between 53,000 to 94,000 a year, which is above the current national average salary. Next, we have an instructional system specialist position which is located in California, Maryland, and Texas. And this job is for the Department of Homeland Security. This position is focused on designing curriculum and behaving as a consultant. This is an example of a position that requires a degree and at least 24 semester hours in education or instructional design. So you will come across these job announcements that do want you to have some sort of academic background. You would qualify for this position if you have used the ADDIE model, which is analyze, design, develop, implement, and evaluate. Also part of the qualification section is reviewing training products and planning the design of instructional systems. Once again, people who have general teaching experience will probably have this level of experience they're looking for. So what's the pay? This job has a salary range of 67,000 to 141,000 a year in the grades of GS11 and GS13. Okay, so let's talk about why a person would wanna to transition to the federal government to start teaching. Now we both know that teaching is a rewarding profession, but one of the reasons to get into the federal government for this 
is because of the benefit package. It's because of the pension, the work-life balance, the stability that you might not be receiving at your state level job or you're not receiving in the military. The average teacher salary in the United States is 62,000 a year as of 2022. And the federal government, simply put, your salary can be a lot larger than that. Okay, so let's assume that you're interested. What are some of the steps that you can take? First, you need to create an account on usajobs.gov if you haven't done so. This will take about 15 or 20 minutes. Next, you wanna make sure that your resume is formatted to the 1700 job series. OPM has a handbook in which they will tell you exactly what they're looking for when, they, when Human Resources is trying to hire for the 1700 job series. Some of the key words for this job series are coordinating and improving educational policies and programs, or administrating, supervising, conducting, or evaluating educational programs. This is the type of language that needs to be woven into your federal resume. After your resume is ready to go, the next thing you need to do is set up job filters. To do this, type in your location on the main page and then click search. Scroll down on the right hand side and click series and then scroll all the way down to the 1700 education series. From here, you can check on all the boxes of the jobs that you're interested in. Once this filter is created, you need to save it. And then you can choose on when you will receive job alerts so that you can apply every week or even every day if you want to. One of the reasons I made this video is because so many people are gravitated towards the 0300 series. And there are a lot of opportunities for the 0300 series. But those same individuals could easily qualify for a 1700 job series. Where 0300 is heavy in administrative or analytical task, if you really want to teach or if you want to work on learning systems, then 1700 series is another option for you. This is especially the case if you have prior teaching experience, if you've been teaching in a public or private school, or if you are a military veteran. So would you ever consider an education job in the federal government? Let me know down below. Well, that wraps up my video on teaching jobs in the federal government. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave that down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.